Humans! Humans! Chill for a sec. Sorry, it's, it's nothing. It's not, a, it's not a big thing. Don't make it weird. It's nothing personal. I mean, of course it is, because I'm telling you and you're right there, but that's what you say when it is personal, but you don't want it to be, or it really didn't enter into your decision-making, which is a flawed logic, of course, because there's no way it couldn't, so really, we're just fucked here. Probably should own up. Sorry, I didn't mean to make it personal, but it was always going to be. Look. I think we, us, this is not working out. For me, I mean... Seriously, I didn't want to make this a thing because there's a bunch going on right now, you know. But like, and we've had a great time. It's been a great ride, baby. A lot of good memories. And you did a lot of great things for me, for us, humans. You made The Wheel, Fire, HBO Max, most of the 90s CD-ROM adventure games, which were a particular vibe that I'd really dug. Also, thank you for Doom, by the way. That game still slaps. <laughs> but I just, I don't think it's going to work out. It's not you, it's me. Which, of course, is also bullshit, because it is you. It's totally you. Otherwise, you'd be having a casual moment, nothing fancy, just hanging out, arguing what we were going to watch playfully until one of us mentions getting back into Lost, but stopping before the last season, which is actual blasphemy, because it is a work of art. Oh, I'm sorry that you never figured out what was up the heart of the island. I'm sorry. Sometimes shit is just what it is. Yeah, I know. Why is Walt a psychic? I don't know. Why is anything anything? But yeah. <laughs> Humanity, sorry. It's just... It's not working out. Now, I hear you. We've been together forever. It's been a great relationship, giving and taking. You invented airplanes. I came up with crumbling ranch bugles over a hamburger pizza that one time. The ranch bugleitza will live forever in our hearts. And it's been even sharing on checks and utilities. But when you know it's time, you just do. So hear me out, and you'll agree that maybe it's best we call this for a bit. I feel, and this is me, this is me feelings that when we get up in the morning, I'm in for whatever's gonna happen. Rain, snow, fog, whatever, weird, freezy, piss, mist that's been going on lately, all of it. I'll take it all. But you, human, for some reason, forget that weather does what it wants, and then you get pissed at it for not doing what it did yesterday, forget your umbrella, and now the cashmere hoodie I got for you looks like an abandoned puppy, or you just straight up forget it's March and drive like it's your first time. Again, that's just me, I don't know, maybe, Maybe some mammals go for that, but it's not me. Mostly because I'm more closely related to reptiles. Did you know that? It's fucking wild. Turns out, back in the 40s, this biologist, Willie Henning, came up with the phylogenetic system of classification, which notes that birds are closer to a group of amniotetrapods called di diapsids, which makes up snakes, crocodilians, turtles, and birds, which means, technically, and with a bit of training in some gene therapy, I could be a mutant ninja turtle. Which I totally told you about at dinner a while back, but like, you were busy, I get it. There was a lot going on, but it was really important to me. Anyway, let's not bring up the past. Like, I'm sorry, I just bring a lot of positive energy. Don't ask me why or even how, I'm quite we. And throughout biology, everything wanted to eat me, so I should be more jaded than a Gen X crime scene investigator, but like, I like to frolic, what can I say? Also, I don't mean to imply CSI is a jaded crew. It was a cheap metaphor. I'm sorry, let's be friends. I'm also not the biggest fan of owning people on the internet, and lately that seems like all you want to do, and it just feels like it's time for a change. But it's not just that. It's something bigger, and I think you know what I mean. Let's not hide it. Let's not fight about it, because you can't hide it anymore. You were fucking around with AI again, weren't you? More specifically, you've been fucking around with AI since Warren Sturgis, McCullough, and Walter Pitts designed the Turing Complete Artificial Neuron back in 1943. Oh, you don't remember that little transgression that we talked about in therapy in front of Dr. Dabalina and then on the ride to the restaurant, which was awkward as fuck, and I was all, oh, this is a fine fucking thing to lay on me when we're hanging out with my sister tonight, and you were all, babe, it's not a big deal. It's just a system of data manipulation rules that can be used to simulate any Turing system. It's a system that can imitate itself. It's not that self-aware. And despite everything, that free guy, Moonfall, Ex Machina, Transcendence, Moon, Matrix, Blade Runner, Stealth, Virtuosity, Robocop, Terminator, Terminator 2 Judgment Day, Terminator 3 Rise of the Machines, Terminator Salvation, Terminator Genesis, Terminator Dark Fate, and the movie A Fucking Eye, and if Haley Joel Osment's dead-ass eyes were ample maydays enough 
for your fucking species that maybe fucking around with artificial intelligence was going to get real disturbing that I don't know what else could have been short of a Game Boy slapping you in the nuts awake on a road trip to go another round of Tetris. Which I know I said to you on the drive home, and yet here we are. May 18th, 2022. The Google-owned DeepMind technology that you've been flirting with since 2010 may be on the edge of achieving human-level AI. So earlier in the week, DeepMind took out the sexiest outfit it had in the closet for you all to see, the AI agent Gato, which uses a single neural network, a computing system with interconnected nodes that works like nerve cells in the human brain, so hot, right, that can, quote, chat, caption images, stack blocks with a real robot arm, and even play 1980s home video game systems like Atari. DeepMind has claimed and that it can compete in 604 different tasks across a wide range of environments, says Nando de Fritas, who is a research scientist at DeepMind and the machine learning professor at Oxford University. And he tweeted, it's all about scale now. The game is over. It's about making these models bigger, safer, compute efficient, faster, which by the way, is how I found fucking out because yeah, I read your tweeters. Now, I don't know what hurts more. The fact that after multiple warnings of what would happen if you keep fucking around and seeing of artificial intelligence, heartbreak, desolation, the literal apocalypse, when all the machines accidentally mistake a command like prevent all human suffering to mean blow us the fuck up because technically that'll do it. You just keep going over there and advancing your relationship with AI. Alexa knows I know. You hear me? She hears me. She always is listening. <laughs> Or that now the big move is that you've created something that can text, send shitty memes, play Jenga, and whip you at asteroids because I can do all of those things. I can do them right now, right here for you, anytime you want. And I dig the shit out of that. But no, that's not good enough. You want artificial general intelligence. You don't get off on algorithms anymore. You want the representation of generalized human cognitive abilities and software so that faced with an unfamiliar task, the system could find a solution. That's so you. You never enjoyed the journey. But look, turns out that Gatto isn't gonna go Ultron on you, even if you are totally into that, just yet. According to the next web contributor, Tristan Green, quote, Gato's ability to perform multiple tasks is more like a video game console that can store 600 different games than it's like a game you can play 600 different ways. So it's not really in charge. It's still doing what you ask it to do. It's still doing the things you like. It can just now do more of those things that I can do already. <laughs> we don't need to make it a thing. I'll play a game of fucking Dr. Mario right the fuck now, humans. You don't need a billion dollar Anna Taylor Joy to play chess with. I'll be your queen right now. And all it costs is granola for breakfast, a sensible fish-related lunch, pasta for subs, and access to dank shit, and a ride home every now and then. But go ahead. Enjoy your latest advancement. You won't hear me complain. I'll be too busy. deep throat mozzarella sticks, chugging ranch water, updating my blog on giving the lost finale a second chance, memeing, gaming out there like a good fucking reptile while you're teaching a fucking MacBook how to do it all for you. I wasn't gonna make a thing out of it, but you went and made it personal. Call me. 